I am Rafik Salami. Wa. To our very first story, and the Chinese ambassador to Ghana, Lu Kun, says the people of China will continue to invest in the social and economic lives of the people of Ghana. According to him, the strong bilateral ties between the two countries keep them stronger in mutually beneficial investment and other trade activities. Speaking at the 2022 Chinese Ambassadors Awards at the Confucius Institute at the University of Cape Coast, the Chinese ambassador indicated China will not turn it back on Ghana in times of difficulties. There is more in this report. The Chinese ambassador, Lu Kun, believes the stronger ties that exist between Ghana and China is destined for greatness and the people of China will do more to enhance such partnerships and collaborations. China and Ghana have always been good friends, partners and brothers. The bilateral political relations is at the forefront of China-African relations. Ghana is among the earliest countries in the Sahara Africa to establish diplomatic relations with China and have always adhered to the One China Principle. In September 2018, His Excellency President Nana Adu Akufu Adu paid a state visit to China and held bilateral talks with President Xi Jinping. The two heads of state charted the blueprint of the future China-Ghana relations. In 2019, His Excellency Sun Chunlai, white failure of China, paid a friendly visit to Ghana. We support each other in bilateral areas, especially Ghana supports China on issues concerning core interests to China, like the Taiwan question, human rights, for which we are so grateful. He is of the belief that the massive investment that China has put into the country will help improve the social and economic lives of the people of Ghana. Of plentiful, such as National Theatre, Bu Buai Dam, Sunan Asotone Power Plant, Kubang Water Supply, Atubo Gas Processing Plant, and the Katu Kanu Rabo Market. Cape Coast Sports Stadium, and uh, I know everyone is here. I also use one speaker here, the Cape Coast uh, Sports Stadium. The Vice Chancellor of the University of Cape Coast, Professor Johnson Yako Bonpon, at the ceremony indicated the Confucius Institute at the university had collaborated with the Chinese ambassador to Ghana to award students who excel in the Chinese language in all the teaching centers of the institute to encourage and increase students' interest in learning Chinese. This year, the ambassador has graciously offered thousand dollars to be awarded to 140 deserving students from various teaching centers of Confucius Institute at UCC. The awardees were the best performers in their respective classes. The Ghana director of the Confucius Institute, Professor Ishmael Mensa, says the objective of the award since its inception in 2017 is to enhance students' interest in the study of the Chinese language and to further motivate them to excel in the study of the language. Reporting for Joy News, Richard Kwejonyakon, Cape Coast.